to add to this game, we are going to learn how to add in collectibles to our map, how to collect them, and how to make it look like they are destroyed. So right now it is simply a game where it moves, it's a maze. We're going to add in some collectibles, so let's go to the code. All right, so here's my basic program. Here is my tile map. I am going to create tiles that look like sprinkles. So I would click the plus sign, add in a rectangle, uh, color it in. Thankfully, I already have that. I'm going to click on it, and I am going to add donut sprinkles throughout my game. Here we go and I would continue on through the rest of my maze, but we'll just go this far for now. All right, I'm gonna test it. So once it resets, oh, awesome, I see my sprinkles, perfect. So now I need to earn points whenever I collect the sprinkles. So I want to overlap the sprinkles. In scene, I'm gonna find on Sprite of Kind overlaps a certain tile. I'm going to choose my sprinkle tile and then I want the score to go up. Change score by one. Awesome. And now I'm going to test this. So let's go in here and let's see what happens. So there's my donut. He goes through. Oh my goodness, the score went to 15. That's not what I said. What happens is when you are moving through a collectible, you're earning points every single time you're overlapping that collectible. That's why there's 15. So we need to make sure that the collectible disappears so that we only earn one point at a time. In order to do that, we use the set tile at tile map column and row. We want it to stay blank because we want a transparent tile to cover over our sprinkle so that it looks like it disappears. In order to do that, I don't have specific columns and rows where each of these sprinkles are. That would be a lot. I would have to repeat that code multiple times. Instead, right now it says the sprinkle is at a location. I can drag this word location here. So now when I test it, let's go through it again. One, it disappears. Two, okay, perfect. That's exactly what I want it to do. The last thing I wanna do is I want to win the game when I have collected all of the sprinkles. That's an if statement. So I'm going to grab an if true and put it in here because while I want, while the computer is constantly checking to see if the sprite is overlapping the sprinkle, I also want it to check if the score I'm going to say is equal to five. So I, this doesn't help me. I need to find it equals. So I'm going to go into logic. There it is. It's a comparison and I'm going to replace the word true. Now I said I want if the score equals five. Well, that looks like I should put a number there. Ha ha, I could also put the variable name score. There it is. I'm going to make it five. And then I want the game to be over and I want to win. Game over, win, and let's have a fun little effect in there. Let's make it have smile. All right, let's test it again. All right, here we go. One. Two, oops. Three, four, five. Woo woo, I win. The game works exactly as how I designed. That's how you overlap a tile and make it disappear. Thanks.